All right, we're in here on some Porsche wheels. Obviously that's the theme of the last few videos we've shot. We're running into a bunch of Porsche Cayennes. Here's one of the things I wanna bring in on, is assessing the wheel. We already have damage right here along the lip of the wheel. We wanna be careful. Don't wanna go harsh chemical, don't wanna go harsh brushing, anything like that. So we wanna be cognizant of that. So I'm gonna show you a little bit of my setup. I have TRX directly in a foam cannon because we have such hammered wheels. This is straight. Honestly, you're not gonna use very much on a car. And remember, a foam cannon injects water, so it's actually gonna dilute itself. When I have really hammered wheels, this is what I like to do. We have Fuego, our iron decon, in a Marilex, just regular sprayer. We're gonna go ahead and we're gonna pre-treat these wheels. We're not gonna rinse them first. We're gonna pre-treat them first. I like to do that just to kind of let this set up for a variety of reasons, because I want it to help break down this caked on brake dust, right? We're in a situation here where I don't want to dilute the chemical right out of the gate. I want to do my best to allow the chemical to start eating away at this brake dust. Normally I would rinse. When I run into really, really bad wheels, I have a different philosophy. I want the chemical to start breaking down. Already we can start to see the purple running. You might not be able to see it that well on camera with this color wheel. So I'm gonna do this before my first rinse process. I really like doing this to allow this to break down the brake dust, allow it to start to decontaminate the wheel because these are so bad. And we say this all the time, whether it be on our podcast or now on our YouTube channel, we always try to tell people, assess the situation. If you've let your vehicle just get a little bit too dirty, maybe you've gone a month, six weeks, you haven't been able to get it, life got in the way, go ahead and do this first. And we got all kinds of purple. We, we obviously know Porsche throws off all kinds of brake dust, Mercedes, different vehicles like that, all the German brake dust, we all understand that. So we're in a situation now, this is Dwell. Enough dwell time to give me my initial rinse. So we're going to go in with a second round of Fuego. Is it necessary? Not really, but I kind of like going ahead, I'm going to go ahead and pump this up. I kind of like giving myself more chemical personally than most people because chemical is your friend, especially when they're properly formulated. You know, too many guys try to tackle things and they end up with a worse result because they're trying to go in real aggressive with brushes at the beginning. So I'm gonna go ahead and get another layer of Fuego on to this, but I'm gonna do something a little different on this round. I'm gonna take TRX in my foam cannon here. And remember, this is gonna dilute itself. Now, mixing these two chemicals because Fuego's pH neutral, you're not gonna have any adverse reaction. Obviously, you don't wanna do any of this stuff. I kinda of sprayed myself quite a lot here, uh, trying to do the video. But I want it to really soak in and start to break down even more grime. So what I'm gonna do is kinda of go in here now, and I'm gonna get the tire first while it's breaking down more on the, on the wheel itself. Move in here. I like to get this lip really well. It kind of holds a lot of grime. Again, we're gonna go one tread in with all of our cleaning on tires because we're gonna dress one tread in. So it comes out perfect result. And this is one of those things. So now it's breaking down everything on that wheel while I'm kind of getting another step done. Okay, and now we're gonna see the magic here with how dirty this wheel really is. So, simple brush, 
Start at 12 o'clock, go center, left and right, center, left and right. Now, key on these Porsche wheels when you're bringing your wheel brush out is to kind of go down so you get that little crevice right there. Okay, so you don't have to work really hard on the other side. So now you see your brush is kind of getting gummed up. I got probably one more in it. When I pull it out, I pull it down through that part of the wheel, cleaning it on the way out. Gonna go ahead and rinse this off. And again, if your wheels are well maintained, then this, all this stuff is kind of not as necessary, but this is a hammered wheel and a lot of guys don't assess the situation that they have if you're a DIY professional. If I assess the wheel, I'm gonna make my life a little bit easier. Okay. The other thing is pull it out a little slowly here so you don't fling it all over yourself. Uh, I've done that about 8,000 times in my career, is get in a hurry and then you sling the stuff all over you. Okay. Notice I'm kind of taking my time. The other thing is I'm being pretty gentle. You know, I don't want to, I know these wheels have a tiny bit of damage on them that we assessed going into this, but the reality is I don't want to scratch them up. We don't detail our own car or customer's car, it doesn't matter, and want to leave it in worse shape. We want to leave it in better shape. So one of the things that I'll say is when you notice anything that I'm doing, I'm not really applying very much pressure, which is one of the reasons we tell people to use properly formulated chemicals because they can be your friend. Right? They also can, if they're done wrong, be your enemy. You can burn a wheel, chemically, those kinds of things. So last thing I do with these brushes is go up here and hit the fender. Go ahead and knock that out. And then we'll grab a boar's hair. This is an ultra soft brush that we'll use here. And we'll kind of start again at 12 o'clock and go around the, all the little nooks and crannies here. You could go with just a simple detail brush if you don't have one of these. These are kind of hard, getting harder and harder to find these ultra soft handled brushes like this. So if you just got a detail brush, that works fine. We've shown that on video before, but here at HQ, we got all the fancy stuff. So, you know, uh, we'll kind of use that to our advantage here. And you can actually get these into the lugs pretty easily. Like I said, you can hear how soft this is. This is an extremely soft brush. All right, let's rinse this out. As you can see, this is, wheel is incredibly bad shape, which is the importance of before I fill my chemicals, before I do any dilutions, I want to assess what's going on. Let's go ahead and spray this off now. And we got a perfectly detailed wheel after all that. One of the things, you know, you see here, no dirt, nothing left behind, perfectly clean. We didn't 
add any more damage. They've obviously gone through some type of car wash or you know, the finish is coming off. More than likely, this is chemical that started to break this down. Tires ready to go, fender wells cleaned up, ready to move on to the next step. Again, did we use a little bit more chemical? Sure we did, uh, but I kept it as safe as possible and you guys saw all the dirt on this wheel. I'd rather just be more safe than sorry and, and that's the, the power of kind of doing that extra beginning step that you may not have to do on a perfectly maintained wheel.